Okay, Sofia Reyes Casualidad. Um, so that lick I just played for you, I kind of got from what I heard in the intro piano. Um, the intro piano is playing notes lower that are that are too low to accomplish on the guitar, so like um, a fourth down from that F sharp that we're playing. And I'm thinking about this in F sharp, but we can also think about it in G flat. Um, so instead of going down for those bass lines, what we're going to do is just go to the fifth. And uh, fifth above, that is. Um, and that's going to keep it all within our normal um, shapes, our guitar shapes here, our E, E major shape, and A minor shape. Um, so let's, let's get going. All we're going to learn is three chords. And the hardest part is just the rhythm of those three chords and the fact that maybe they're bar chords as well. So let's look at the first one. The first one is F sharp major. Um, in that E shape, so um, that is pointer finger on the first fret of E string, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, pinky on the fourth fret of the D string, and middle finger on the third fret of the G string. And then you're barring um, with your pointer finger of that B. Um, the rhythm here is uh, thumb, and then I use my pointer, middle, and finger pointer, middle finger, and ring finger to um, do the off beats. I'm sorry, a little swung. All right, so bass, thumb, and then rhythm off beats with your other fingers. Okay, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, that bass one more time and then give an, a different bass note, which is a fifth, the C sharp, um, before we move to the next chord, so. That's where that C sharp is going to come in. I'm going to add add the bass. So boom, 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 boom. There it is. Uh, let's just practice that bass line together. F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, A sharp. Um, and now with the rhythm. So it's the same pattern for the rest of our chords when we are playing the A sharp, A sharp minor. That is that A, A minor shape, right, that we know here. We're just up a fret and we're borrowing it now, okay? For this one, instead of moving my thumb down to the G string to play the other bass now, I just do it with my pointer finger because it's already there. Like so. Um, so our next chord is G sharp or A flat if you want to think about it that way, and it is major, G sharp major, in that E major shape, and we're doing the same thing we did on the F sharp. Um, so thumb, thumb, thumb on the uh, what's it called fourth fret of the E string and the sixth fret of the A string for our bass notes. Um, after that, there's a little lee, lick um, that gets us back into the chord progression again. And so I'll show you how I do that. Um, so I move all my pointer finger down here, probably not the most efficient way fingering wise, um, but that is the middle finger on the sixth fret of the D string. <laughs> and my pointer finger on the fifth fret of the G string. Just playing a third right there. And for the movement, I put my ring finger down onto the sixth fret of the G string, keeping uh, my middle finger where it was before, and then lift it up. Da, 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 da. And this like section is a really great place to do licks and stuff there. Um, yeah. Alright, so for the choruses and um, kind of like that pre-chorus, it does have a little bit more of a swung feel to it. Um, so 
alter the first um, kind of chord progression like style you're playing to just hold out that bass note a little longer. Do gut gut do instead of do gut do gut right. So you might want to think of switching up like that. Um, so whereas the beginning was just kind of more straight uh, straight rhythm. Um, the rest of it is, some of it just kind of is more swung. 